Make it happen and make it big. Your creative career starts right now. You're listening to Media Artist Secrets, the podcast. Hello, my name is Franklin McMahon. Welcome to Media Artist Secrets, the podcast for the creative professional. We've got a great show. We're going to talk about social networks for a few minutes. And a couple quick notes. We, we uh, redesigned fmstudio.com, which is my regular homepage website. So check that out. There's a blog. You can now leave comments for, for these shows and interact and all kinds of other cool stuff. We're going to have tutorials and news. So fmstudio.com. You can also get to it at uh, from mediaartist.com. And just produced a new Rumor Girls um, HD version for Apple TV. So that's in iTunes. You can search for that. It's actually in the iTunes um, Apple TV showcase, Rumor Girls HD. And I'll be speaking at the Podcast Expo later this year. So that's pretty exciting. I'm going to have info on, uh, on fmstudio.com about that. That's coming up uh, in, a, in a few months. So that'll be very exciting. Hope to see you there. And if you're coming here, or if you're listening to the show from Computer Arts Projects Magazine, um, which we're on the, the CD on, on that, uh, welcome. Okay, that's the news. Get that out of the way. I think I covered that all in a minute. <clears throat> Anyway, social networks. We're we're in an, we're in an age. We're living in a world in a world in a world of social networks. Um, obviously, social networks are we're immersed in them. We we we're in a lot of them. Um, you could be in I don't know MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, Friendster, LinkedIn. You know, and and things like Skype and uh, blogs and instant messaging. You know, these are all social networks. And, you know, our, our, the people we know are really expanding. You know, we're really coming into so much contact with these people. And it's pretty amazing. And you would think that the opportunities are just like tremendous. You know, now that we have all this access to people, we can get to know people through the Internet and all this other stuff. Um, you would think, wow, you know, opportunities are just coming in left and right. But sometimes they're not. And, you know, we have more contacts than ever before, but uh, for some people, there's less traction than ever before. I mean, there's percentage wise, because if you think about it, you know, back in the uh, the old days, you know, back in the days of like the telephone, I don't know how many years ago, but, you know, when you got a call, you know, someone called you out of the blue. Hey, you know, I heard about the stuff you're doing. Um you know, it, it sounds really cool. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm interested. And then you, you talk to them and you really worked it. I mean, you really spent time, you talked to them, you got to know them, you connected, maybe you had a lunch, you know, thing and you, you really went over some stuff and maybe collaborated. Maybe they became a client. Maybe they became a long-term client, someone who's, you know, still with you today. I mean, when an opportunity like that rang, when it popped up, you were like, whoa, I really got to work it. This is, this is an opportunity. You really see it as an opportunity. Um, these days, it's quite different when someone pops into your little social, you know, network web. Um, you know, sometimes you may see it as a, as your collection. You know, you've added twenty five people today. Whew, it was a good day. I have twenty. I have a hundred more people in my network, and uh, I love how my collection is growing. You know, I've got you know eight thousand people in my network, and and isn't this cool? And this guy only has you know two hundred. Oh my gosh! So um, and you know, it's it's fun. It's definitely great to have the network and to have all this interaction, but um, you yeah, know, working it is is pretty pretty key, and it depends on how you you know, define the success of your social network. You know, some people track it with um, traffic, you know, comments to the blog, downloads, hits, you know. When, when, when you see that rising up, you, you say, well, I'm, I'm getting successful. It's really taking off, and which is fine. There's nothing, believe me, I love hits and downloads more than anyone. Um, but the key is to kind of rope some of that in and make it more permanent, you know, um, because it can be fleeting. People could, you know, go to your site, you know, check out your podcast, check out your services, you know, maybe do one job with you, and then they're gone. And unfortunately, we have such a large social web now, it's hard to give, you know, really, you know, specific uh, attention to just one p person or two people or whatever, because we've got, you know all these people we have to work with. And I'm sure like most people, your inbox is probably the same as mine. It's like filled with, I have, I have literally, let me just check. This is, I'm not making this up. I have 4,313 items in my inbox. 
Now, obviously, I get a lot of mail with all the stuff I'm doing and all the projects and everything, and um, but and and some of that is announcements from other people, and and I really try to work my way through it, and I have a lot of them tagged, and and I go through them, but it's getting harder and harder. You know, I'm dealing with it too. It's getting hard to keep up. It's getting hard to keep in contact, especially with the people that you know on a regular basis. Uh, kind of a byproduct <clears throat> of some of these social networks. Um, is you'll start to drift away from people who you've really been in constant contact with over the years, and you'll hear about it. You know, you, you may drop them a note and ask them a question, and then they'll answer you back, and they'll say, oh, God, I haven't, I haven't talked to you in like a year. You know, we used, to, we used to converse all the time. We used to work on stuff. You know, it could be a client. It could be a friend. It could be anyone. You know, but try to retain that. And again, there's only so much time in the day. But really try to work the social network and not think of the you know, the mass of the network and trying to keep, you know, hugely expanding it, you know. Um, I mean, you do want to you do want to expand it, but you really have to build the foundation. You know, if you're doing a show, um, say a podcast show or, a, you know, video blog or something, you know, keep that interaction with the fans, the visitors, the people who are really, you know, coming to you and saying, wow, this is really cool. I'm really impressed. I love this. Keep at it and keep them connected and keep them engaged. And it's a lot of hours. It's a lot of work. But better to do that and create a great foundation, which might be smaller than the huge network, than to just spend all day, you know, trying to get more and more people just to check you out. Because it's kind of like advertising when you... You know, when you post a billboard, you know, the old way of advertising is like you just threw a bunch of stuff out there. Hopefully it hit. You know, someone might have caught an ad on TV or they might have seen a, bu- a billboard, you know, whatever. And um, that's kind of like the way social networks are. You're just throwing throwing yourself out there and hoping you get a lot of hits. And you do get a lot of hits, but you want to have that retention. You want to make sure that people are sticking with you. They become engaged in your brand and whatever you're producing. So, you know, do expand your network because that's definitely helpful. But don't forget to retain the network. Keep it, you know, keep people engaged and keep people activated. And again, this is not easy. You know, we're, we're bombarded from all different, you know, networks of, you know, throughout the entire day of people, you know, wanting attention and stuff. But really try to strive to keep keep attention on, on people, especially if you, you see some, you know, progress and it's becoming a real opportunity Try not to get distracted and let that go with, you know, 20 other emails or phone calls or Skype calls or, or whatever. Um, another thing to do is when you when you start a project, you know, figure out what the payoff is. You know, um, a lot of times when you start something new and as, as you extend your brand, you always want to be reinventing. You always want to create something new. You always want to, you know, make something that, you know, people will, you know, stand up and, and take attention. They'll be like, whoa, that's that's pretty cool. Now, um, if, if the payoff is just to get yourself out there more, then that's fine. But um, you may engage, say, your social network to get more clients. You know, maybe the mission with doing all this networking and social networking is to get more clients. Well, you can actually steer it that way. So when you're doing all this stuff, you're really in the back of your mind focusing on, you know what? Today, I'm going to be interacting with a lot of people. Who's going to be some of the new clients I'm going to be working with? Somebody who might hire me, someone who might want my services, whether it be music or design or art or creative stuff. Who's going to be part of, you know, my world come in and, you know, maybe hire me, maybe, you know, help me create an abundant life, which is what, you know, we all want. And you can actually steer it that way as opposed to, you know, you wake up and you're like, I just want to make my, you know, my network bigger and bigger. You know, if I get 100 more people checking out my stuff, I'll be happy. And if you are happy... That's totally fine. But you may be a lot happier if you can retain a lot of those people, you know, because 100 may may pop in and maybe 10 will keep, you know, keep going, you know, keep at it and keep watching the stuff you're doing. And maybe one will actually make the connection and you might be doing some work with them. But try to up that percentage because, you know, it's very difficult, you know, to to retain and to connect with so many things going on and so many people, but really focus on it and focus on what the end goal is. If you want to get more clients, if you want to make more money, you know, keep that in the back of your mind when you surf into these social networks, because there's, you know, there's opportunities everywhere, especially with the way we're all connected now. Um, and it's pretty cool. I mean, we're more connected than ever before. And again, 
a lot of it's fun. I'm not saying it's not fun. A lot of it's fun just to have all these people in your network, to meet people all over the world. It's very, very cool. But really try to build that base, people you want to interact with on a regular basis because it might be beneficial or profitable. And, and that's, that's really excellent. You, know? you, you have the opportunity to really get a lot of clients. Um, the social networks are very fun, and it's fun to kind of chat back and forth and connect and look at people's websites and see what they're doing. You know, I often get people from, you know, who contact me through this show, and you know, they, they'll send me their website. And rather than just, you know, you know they'll email it to me and I'll, I'll look at it eventually. Rather than do that, I actually do look at and explore and see that, you know, see if there's someone who's doing something creative or something different or something I could use, you know, something for some of my projects um, or vice versa. You know, if they're doing something and I have some sort of service that they might find intriguing, you know, I'll pass them my website or a link or something. So it's very serendipitous. But again, when someone contacts you out of the blue, look at it as an opportunity as opposed to, wow, another person contacted me. That's cool. My my network is growing and expanding. Look at the end result. Look at what you want out of that social network because you can actually get a lot out of these amazing social networks that are very large and have a lot of contact. And the other thing I would I would wrap up with saying is start to think of some people you haven't talked to in a while that maybe you used to interact with all the time. Chances are they're doing a lot of cool stuff. You know, Maybe you haven't talked to them in six months. Drop an email, you know, give them a little buzz on Skype, give them a phone call, um, check out their MySpace, you know, whatever. Drop them a note, see what they're up to, because I think some of these connections, you know, for a lot of us could get lost in the shuffle. You know, if there's a reason you've been working with or connecting with someone on a regular basis in the past, there's probably a still, a, you know, a very good reason if you're both growing and starting new projects. But Try to reel that in. Try to you know connect with some people you haven't connected with in a while. A good way to do that is to go through your inbox. Of course, if you have four thousand, it might be a little difficult, but um, you know just bop around and maybe contact maybe four or five people. Just drop an email saying, "Hey, what's up?" You know, you may be very surprised to see what they're up to, and they may be doing something very similar to you, or they may need your services, and they may not have seen your new website or your new blog or your new project, and you know, it kind of rattles their cage. So anyway, that's it. That's what I have to say about social networks. Um, Again, really exploit your social networks, not just expand them. Boy, that just wrapped it up right there. Anyway, my name is Franklin McMahon. Check out fmstudio.com. You can leave comments on this episode and other episodes and also check out uh, other shows I'm doing and other projects. And um, it's a lot of fun. You can also get there uh, from mediaartist.com as well. My email is frank at fmstudio.com. And uh, I'm on a lot of other, I'm on all the social networks. I'm on MySpace and Twitter. And all that info is at fmstudio.com. So my name is Franklin McMahon. And stay subscribed. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks.